Nice job. Hey, no, man, nice job to you. It's an emotional thank you you'll see only on two. One is a pilot, the other an air traffic controller, forever bonded by a dramatic day they'll never forget. The pilot was flying this plane, forced to make an emergency landing at Chicago Executive Airport. And today, he got a chance to meet the air traffic controller he says helped save his life. CBS 2's Jim Williams was there for the emotional meeting. Jim. Erica, here at the airport, we had a pilot who called what happened a holiday miracle and a modest air traffic controller who deflected all praise. Martin Safarian returned to Chicago Executive Airport with a bottle of expensive liquor and enormous gratitude. I can't wait to see this guy. This guy. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> hey, man. Nice job. Hey, no, man. Nice job to you. Shad Curtis, air traffic controller. My reward was you climbing out of that plane. Yeah. That was, uh... <laughs> The reunion was a day after the landing gear of Safarian's small plane malfunctioned minutes after taking off for Wisconsin. I heard a pop. For two harrowing hours, Curtis calmly guided Safarian, who needed to burn fuel before trying to land. Now you're doing a great job, sir. Everything's going to be all right. This isn't a rush thing, um, so I'm here for you. You made me feel like I was doing a great job. You I was doing... I don't want to take the credit for that. Let's just uh, bring it back towards the field now. As firefighters waited on the ground, Safarian could finally make an emergency landing without functioning nose gear. We know we're going to crash. There's, there's no way out of that. You know, how safe it's going to be, we don't know. He and his passenger were safe. Again, sure. another hug. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thanks, man. You going home to your family, that's all yeah, us air traffic I, controllers ever want. Air traffic controller Curtis politely insisted he could not accept the alcohol. A thank you was more than enough, he said. Live in Wheeling, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Erica? Wow, what a beautiful meeting. Thank you, Jim.